Hi there, and welcome back to War News 2. And someone in the comments said I should have more access to more Hungarians, and you seem to be right. There are more Hungarians I can get. Let's start raiding these guys. Oh, because they will be very useful. Not sure if I have the rail capacity to get them all up here this time, but at least start moving them. Also, I was just clicking the wrong guys. So yeah, I've been a dum dum. Yep, there's another one there. You see, there's no easy no way to know which one's unlocked. All the southern border guys here have not. But that's, that's set up a few divisions. That will help. So, let's see if we can get rid of these guys. We can. Have to bring in another unit to help with that. But yes, I feel like a bit of an idiot at the moment. Let's just grab these hexes because they're next to a river. Mainly because it's that whole thing of like missing a few key bits, like defensively. 998, we ain't getting to Kursk easily. Right, and just start spreading out my infantry. Because I've got a whole section that's covered by tanks. You know, and that's not going to be a good long-term solution to life. Anyways, I need to be pulling the tanks up and back a little bit. No, that was a bit tough. We can get some through here, however. The second line isn't that well defended. Not sure I can break the front line now. I'd love to get that's a tank core. I just realised that was a tank core. Yeah, right. Things like that have to die. Get you up one. Alright, we're gonna have another go at wiping this guy out. Hey, finally. Continue to make multiple lines of defense here. Like that. Ooh, that cost us 1400. Ouch. We've got a little bit back on the second, but yeah, we're not taking Stellino. Yeah, we've got a defensive line. Hungarians will be able to cover that. Hmm. Apparently that got cut at some point. Okay, that's interesting. Those have been repaired, so next turn that'll look good. So yeah, we can build a depot here. Right, okay, now we're back up to here. And having cleared him, 
we can start moving you guys back to the front. But Soviet forces have rallied quite heavily. What's your defence? 27. Yep, get you to retreat. Okay, we need to spread these guys out. Yeah, this allows me to bring two tanks off the line for a turn. You need to come back up here because you're so away from your headquarters. Thirty-six. I'm not going to make it much of a dent here, but I could probably get you out the way. Yep. North of Moscow is actually my most promising target. Yeah, man, at least break your fort level. Right, hold there. Hold there. Thanks into there. Again, spread the infantry out. Five to eight seven with level three forts ain't happening. We'll continue to push on this flank. Ooh, that that was bad recon. And that was lots of support. Make a hole. Make it larger. We might be able to get that guy to think about retreating. Pop you guys off the front line for this turn, so at least you got a chance of exploiting a hole. But we're definitely running out of speed. We need some more firepower to crack this guy. And this guy as well. Because these are the guys who should be on the front. Right. Hopefully next turn we'll have some more troops. Down here doesn't look too bad troop wise, they're just so weak. I mean I've given up any more advances. Just for safety. Alright. I still managed to get them up to 60. They're taking casualties, although their strength is rapidly improving. Alright. Okay, I was expecting an attack there. What are new events? Oh, grand success in North Africa. Excellent. The longer we have that going on, the better. Because we're apparently all the way up to... Um, yeah. I never actually looked to see if that moves or not. Alright. Let's start in the south because it's going to be a bit easier. 
mainly about positioning guys, getting these Romanian, the Hungarians into position as the second line. Using up all the old rail just to get in. That should definitely help come next year, or this coming winter. Having these guys nice and right. Oh look, they retreated massively there. That gives me a, a minute to sort out this problem here. Yeah, that's another 20k. That's good. Now I know it's late, but can we think about doing a circle here? We can. Right, infantry up. Well, we turn these guys to the front line here. Ready them up for a little bit of fighting. Well, let's face it, I'm not going to give up any gift horses, am I? And the chance of taking curse is small. Be able to trigger a bit of a retreat here. Any bit of ground we can take now is ground they have to retake later. I would love this core, but I may have to design the smashing it up and taking another hundred tanks off it. This is where their tank cores are though, this this is an area I'm gonna be in trouble in. I need to think about that. Also, some of you guys look a little bit uh, far back. Because they are a little bit far back, you idiot. Thank you very much. The Dapo in there. You all need some support. Yeah, ain't coming. Yeah, what I can do is dropping rapidly. Still, there's still weak spots. And could you guys shift, not shift him? Yeah, that's a better position for me to be in. That's a rance one. We got some space, haven't we? But I might just have to go for the old fashioned smashing of the uh, front line wherever possible. It cost 118 tanks that one. Because they are very strong in this sector. 29.25 with level 3 forts just ain't going to cut it. Not this time. Tanks off the line. Let's bring them back to here. Because 
we desperately need to shift this guy? Ooh. There's a number. There's a number. Yeah, they're just being annoying. It's all hell. Alright, the big hope is up here. Move the infantry into a position where they can try and shift this guy. No, he is very well dug in. We can get some units across the river though. There we go, we're starting to threaten them. Don't know what good it's going to do long term, but... Right. Yeah, but I think the thing I desperately need to do is get those two captured guys out. We know this is going to be the weak spot, so let's get all these... New troop. Good number one. Yep. Not at least I let me reinforce this sector against these tank cores, which I will admit are scaring me. I probably have to bring some of my tanks up. Only 56 fells in this turn. What does the map man look like there? Yeah, I can see I just freed up. Like a hundred thousand people, tens of thousands of guns, a thousand tanks. That's what I've been basically fighting without. And that's kind of annoying me. It's probably why my summer offensive did not go as planned. It had it's not been a bad summer offensive. I mean, if you look at manpower losses, so it's been running high for a good amount of time you can see when Leningrad fell it just hasn't taken much ground but yeah we'll see how that turns out I'll also see if we get any attacks this way around oh we got some counter attacks in the north okay oh they're going to try and surround that division are they I think I have to block this up before I'm going to make a last minute. Oh, rains have come. Didn't want the rains. Rains are bad. The irony, it might be what allows me to kill these guys because no, they, they won't get any air supply. Alright, 400 sorties still, that's not too bad. Let's have a look in the north. Oh no, they surrounded that guy. Alright, they are quite strong. That's a little bit. Oh, 
They are holding what we got weather-wise. Ground is still clear for now. But you can see my combat values have dropped. So have theirs though. So have theirs. Come on. These gits have been captured. For months now. Undo that move. Can't pull any more troops off the front to try and deal with them. I'm going to pull... Let's see if we can smash this one. Nope. Pull you guys back next turn. Get you out of there at least. Move you up to here. The rains are coming. It's time to think about the fences. You guys can come in and become the second line. Gonna be a quick turn this one because these combat values are not looking good. I might be able to cheekily surround Kursk. You know what? I will take a last minute attempt to take Kursk. I'm gonna miss, I'm just gonna smash this guy here. You can see it's it's good enough, isn't it? All right, everyone who can retreat, start to retreat. I don't want that too much of a thing behind my line, do I? Thing uh salient, whatever you want to call it. We'll leave this as a nice bit of no man's land. Uh, you can tell when the recon goes up there, can't you? Condense this down a little bit so we've got a solid second line. You're already on reserves. I need to have more HQs than I need for these times. I mean, that looks wrong, but it's going to crumble like paper. I hate this, so I'll keep attacking. Right, we can build a depot here, which will be very useful for the main rail line. Just really, really need to kill these guys. Because this section here is going to crumble if I don't get these troops back on the front. So if it's a got garrison shortages, see it's only 25,000, it's a terrible, terrible month. Berlin hopefully has figured out I need more troops, just a reserve corps. Why do I need another container? I never use them properly anyway. Let's 
stick them in the right army. You guys have been dug in for a while. Dreams of Sevastopol. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I get for a few turns this time, I think. It means a short video for you because it's more processing. All right. Are we to profit mode? Oops. Yeah, we're into light mode. That means the chances of advancing up here are much lower. 157 CV. Might be able to do some last minute damage there. Yeah, that looks like a good place. Yeah, I'm not going to give up that push. But let's be fair, I took uh, Leningrad during the winter. But I also have to think about reducing these guys down. Oh, they're gone. 24,000. If you start your march into position. Like I want to destroy as much of this as possible. If I can get both of these this turn. No, apparently not for that. Hmm. A little bit of wibbling in the line here, but not too much. Build a depot there. They generally just pull back there. 14, don't really have the forces for that. Those two round. Reserve that guy. Now, we do have Kursks around it though. Bring these guys back. 18,000 in Kursk. Now I know I'm not going to hold it for long. That's not the point though, is it? And the point is, I've just taken out 18,000 more men I wasn't expecting to. Pull you back behind the lines. You can step over here. Your HQ and should not be on the front line. Let's put the tank with the infantry. Actually, that's on a river. Let's advance into the river. Not with a tank. Do that move. See how the Soviets react to that one. Until units finally up and running. No fresh guys in Berlin. My son just woke up and should be straight still in bed.
I won't have a go at this. Ah, uh, oh, see, it was lies. It was all lies. They move their tanks down here, though. The tank tours. The you know, tank tours up here seem to have vanished. Just this guy now being annoying. Move down in here. Belongs to you. Pull you off the front line. Bring you up. At least I can move you up. I need to get infantry in this section here. 57,000 on a mud turn, that's pretty good. Alright, back over to the AI. Alright, we're still getting some planes in the air. There's been a break in the weather in the south. Not sure what it's going to do for me. Oh, that's so tempting. I don't think I could get anyone to do that third hex. There's probably someone in there, realistically. Make them retreat. The rest of these tanks are in refit. We've taken Kursk. Not in a bad position. I think I've got a chance of smashing them. Yeah, 107 tanks. I want to be as strong as I can for winter. I'm also not giving off any chances I've got to some serious damage to them. Like this 14 and 9 against the 3. Alright, going up the line, we got a little bit of a retreat here as they sort their line out. Pop you two to the back. Into reserve. Part of me hates giving up on these assaults at this point, but I also know that I need to destroy this guy as well. There we go. 10k, 10k, not 10k. That'd be completely different. I mean, there probably was 10k guys in there, wouldn't it? No one's going to admit that in 1940s. But yeah, 10k guys. Was holding me up for that long and it's humiliating. Let me look at least bring you back. Alright, we're getting something of a front line. We've got a good number of tanks. In a relatively good state. Refit you for a few turns because you're not going to be needed. All right, let's have another push up here. If we can shift this guy, we can push a little bit or. Oh. Net port is apparently not going to work. She's probably going to have to collapse my lines in a bit. Alright. 
Run my rail lines across to here. Build a depot, because that's a big open depotless area. Okay, as the front line goes. Yeah, it's a bit weak. That's what's happened to my flipping. There we go. Thought the map looked weird. So a bit partisan and the gas shortage. But we've eliminated all those little captures. We're sitting in Kursk. We can build a depot just outside Kursk. And that's going to really help. Yeah, okay. I feel like we're in an okay position for the winter. But let's just suck the term, shall we? Right, yeah, number of sorties are dropping. The us have been quiet for a good amount of time now. Which I'm not going to complain about. So, yep, next time, more returns. So, thanks for watching, I'll see you then.